Detta avsnitt av BSTV sponsras av Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Get in there, my son. Are you contemplating? I'm, I'm contemplating. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed actually, Trev. That. That, you know, a lot of what we go on about week after week, live obviously, on Beer Sweden Television. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our little show. Um, is, um, is really on this can. You know, we talk a lot about brewers putting their ingredients on the can and telling us a little bit about it and backstory and yada da da. Uh, and these guys have gone and done it. Have a look. And not, they're not even a craft craft brewery, are they? Oh, Trev, straight to the. I th- know, oh, straight to the jugular. Straight to the jugular there, straight to the crux of the. Of Read the, the legend, go on. Of the, of the thingy pop. Well, do you want to zoom me zoom? All right. Know, am I holding it right? Uh, no, get it wrong. Up a little bit, there, there, that'll up do. A bit. No, not up like, no, oh, like that. revolving, uh, oh, oh. rotation-wise. What, like that? No, bugger no. off. Don't oh, take that the piss. Way. That's it. <laughs> Bumble B. Bumble B 17. 17. I'm not quite sure what the 17 means. I'm not sure what Bumble means. Uh, no, I'm well, not. Really, but it's quite cute. You've got these little bumblebees that have got hops, and this is a hop-struck pilsner. I do like now, my thing. Now, I've got a question. I, I like hold, my, hold it up again, I like, like vertically. Well. Right, I love bumblebees. Beer. Is this not enticing kids to drink beer? Is that not a method of transportation, Trev? <laughs> yeah? Is this encouraging bumblebees to get drunk? To get drunk. Oh, I think you need to know these fly. things. I think you need to know these things. Uh, I think what we're encouraging, we're encouraging insects to get inebriated, Trev. Well, I and think we the system will should stuff. have a look at that I mean, and discuss, want, discuss whether they're going to ban it or not. a swarm of drunk bumblebees. Like, attack, I mean, seriously, they're bad enough normally. Uh, seriously, you just don't want it, do you? Um, anyway, um, so that's something I think. Was that we political? Should, I think we should. No, I think it's a very valid point. I think we should bring it up at the next system Belaga meeting that we never yeah. get to. Do we want drunk um, bumblebees flying around? We would like to go to, but we don't because we're living in Puma. Uh, 4.7% Trev. Uh, it is a, a dry hopped uh, beer uh, with. Um, uh, well, it's a Pilsner, of course. Hop struck Pilsner. Um, dry hop with Sars, uh, which is the traditional Bohemian Czech hop, uh, and Willamette. Willamette is a hop that I want to talk about a little bit later on uh, because it's one of those hops that's used a lot, particularly in American beers, uh, as an aroma hop. Uh, but we don't really, it kind of flies under the radar. Oh, well, I've never heard of it. Don't talk about it a lot. Willamette, yeah, it's not that trendy, is it? Sounds like, sounds like a woman. I know what the other one is, so. A was... woman that works in an accounts department somewhere. Yeah. Willamette. Willamette. <laughs> um, anyway, the brewer is called Daniel. I'm going to read the stuff off the back tread because Cred, Cred Webster. I was Street. just like, point what you was trying to articulate quite poorly, I thought, at the beginning of this episode was that we, we go on about how these craft breweries take so much trouble to put all their different um, hops you know they do the experiments and this that and ever but they never tell you what they've got now you've got this company called what are they called they're called Backyard Brewing Backyard Brewing which is actually a subsidiary of uh, Carlsberg so basically not really a craft brewery and they're giving you all this stuff which is you can't do nothing but credit to them for it yeah I mean whether they're craft brewery or not, of course, that's that's a debate that rumbles on. Uh, they're a brewery within a brewery, and of course, they but they they enjoy the benefits. Of, well, they're putting their beer in a can, for instance. That's the benefit of actually hanging out with a big brother mm. who actually got you know huge canning facilities. Um, so you, you you know you can argue stuff. Uh, the last beer that we actually had, and I think we may have had it on BSTV, but we certainly had it on Beer Sweden, the online magazine, only online magazine, by the way, Trev, in Sweden. Did you know that? Only one. Cool. Um, and we did a review of it there. I was kind of like, it was did say what it said on the can, it was a lawnmower beer. If you want to buy a lawnmower beer, that was a good one to go for. Was that this one we filmed? Slightly different, huh? Did we film that? Uh, I think we did. What was it called? Uh, lawnmower Lager or something, oh. Amber... I don't remember it, go on. Um, anyway, this is slightly different. Uh, this one's got a couple of, a kind of strange pairing of, uh, you know, noble hop with a kind of English-American hybrid hop. Um, uh, it is uh, 33 IBUs, Trev. 33 IBUs. Mm-hmm. Uh, taste. Bumblebee 17. What's 17 stand for, Trev? 17 go. Say anything. Don't say anything on it. Um, I, don't, I don't get that bit. Um, it combines the elegance and drinkability of a Pilsner with the charged floral nose of 
a dry hop lager. Serve fridge cold. I deal with fish, meat, sausages, veggies, anything really. Well, that's quite cute. I like, I like vague. I, I, I like vague, that's a bit of a catch all. Um, so there we go, that's it. Uh, and here's the thing. Uh, this, again, is one of those budget beers, Trev. Guess how much this is coming out of the system below? It came out, of course, in June. This is another one of those June beers, you know, obviously, because we're filming live here, aren't we, Trev? Uh, this has come out already. You'll see it everywhere. Big launch. Uh, 1090. 1090. A can, Trev. 1090. Right. So that's budget, right? This is cheap thrills, budget, um, lawnmower budget stuff. And I'll tell you what I think I think of it. I actually quite like the can. I, I, I quite like it, Trev. I think it's quite sort of, you know, quite fun, isn't it? No. You're looking at you're not bothered. No, I'm not you're impressed not, by not the you're not bothered. label. Okay, but I'm going to be completely I open about the beer. I personally think it's quite fun. Uh, um, you know, it's a summer beer, isn't it? Apparently. Well, should we try it? Go on. Okay, so uh, it's in a three thirty mil can, ten ninety. Um, pour it up, big head, tight bubbles, uh, and you've got a kind of oh, quite pretty, a little bit paler than. Uh, oh, I think that uh, looks fine. Coppery, coppery body to it. Bubbles are very tight and fizzy. I can see that they're small. They're small, tight. Uh, kind of. When I see that, I think, you know, you, you're thinking a bit more industrial, like dusty kind of nose to it. There's some floral action going on here, definitely. Um, talking about the hops, sars, as we know, you know, in traditional Czech pilsners, you always have these sars with that kind of lemon grassy, spicy yep. sort of note to it. Um, one of the noble hops, of course. But Willamette is something that's a little bit more unusual, used a lot in the United States, the king of the aroma hops there. Uh, it's, its alpha acid is quite low, so it's not very bitter, between 4 and 6%. But it's just aromatic, is it? Uh, it's actually used for bittering too, but uh, so this is not going to be a very powerful bitter beer, but I don't suppose that's the style, it's not supposed to be that at all. Uh, but you get this, it's actually a, a, a hybrid or an offcut or a of, or an interpretation of Fuggles, which is the classic, yeah. you know, the classic uh, uh, hop from our country, Trev, you know, from 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 uh, from England, from from well, our second country. Well, how many countries have we got? But so you're getting this kind of American English Czech things going on. Pretty strange mashup. Uh, quite an unusual combination of hops in a beer. Quite like that. Um, first thing I'm going to say is not bad. I say that spontaneously. Law mower, I felt didn't cut it. Pardon the pun. Uh, it was mm -hmm. just kind of you know you get that kind of corny, um, artificial. That's the only way you can say sort of like the industrial lagers can do that kind of. You, you, you know that there's no passion. It's gone. It's been sucked out. And probably was never in it. Um, here there is definitely something more than the last backyard brew. Um, there's some nice sort of bready notes to it, a bit of sweetness up front, um, I'm getting a little bit of light orange, um, light mandarin, those sorts of things. Um, that little sort of tinny artificial edge is there, uh, it, 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 just, it just betrays it a little bit. A little bit. Uh, bitterness, 33 IBUs. Really? Uh, not really getting that. I mean, they're pushing it a lot on the can and saying, you know, this is hop struck Pilsner. I've had a lot more hop struck Pilsners than this one. But I tell you what, I'm, I'm in a good mood because the sun's shining and everything like that. I'm feeling good. This is a summer beer for 10.90. It Let's put it this it way, I've bracket. tasted much worse than this. Yeah. It puts it in the same bracket, bracket as Beer Varna. Do you remember that one yeah. last year? Which I thought, again, I think it was around 1090. Funky looking psychedelic can. Works. Bloody works. I mean, you know, not every beer has to be aged in whale's bladders or anything like that, does it, Trev? This is a very kind of, yeah, this is, if they do industrial beer, do it well. And I think this is actually a pretty good example of it. In terms of rating, Trev, um, I'm going to go ah, 2.8, 2.9. That's generous. I'd have said a well, two you know, six, two a, but yeah, two and a half is a, mm. is 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 is, is, a, the, is, a, is, is the, the kind average. of like average, you know, yeah. beer. This has got a little bit more than that. Yeah, maybe maybe two point eight, two point eight. I think it's got a little bit more going for it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. If someone could ex please explain to me what the seventeen is, I'd be extremely grateful. Uh, I think it's about time we um. Well, the beach, Trev, don't you? What do we do? Hit the beach. <laughs> you and me.
Hit the beach. Play volleyball. Do you remember we did an episode on the beach once? We did, didn't we? I'm still getting sand out of my bum now. It was bloody murder of all the noise of the waves and the wind. I know, I know. It's much better here than in front of a pallet. Hmm? Anyway. All right, I think that's up. it. Cheers, everyone. And beers.